back here with our minor league pregame show. I'm Matt Vaskersian getting you ready for double-A Southern League action tonight as we jump into our Bowman prospect spotlight. Robert Glover will be our focus as he enters this one having carried his team offensively last time. Robert Glover will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. And in the first inning, with this guy already looking a little shaky, I think you let him throw you one here. He hasn't proven to me that he can find the strike zone. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Two-run shot to straightaway center. Sixth home run on the season for him, as it's now a 3-0 ball game. Andres Silva will be the batter. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Ryan Staten will get his first shot now, and you can see how he's done over the course of this five-game hitting streak. And he changes up on him here as this is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. Glover is under it, and he's got it for the first down. Aaron Pond will stand in as we show you the numbers for his last eight ball games, and he continues to be as hot as anyone on the ball club. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning... Robert Glover will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. You know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. Staten will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So one run here on two hits. No error. Marcos Arroyo will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Here's one hit towards the hole. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Fernando Ramos will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Now batting. Catcher. Steve Butler will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he'll try and catch him by surprise here as he drops this one down. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no Robert Glover will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Robert Glover. Line to left. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. And you can tell when these guys have gone up to the plate, 
They've had a plan. You know, they're just not wildly swinging, hoping for things to work out. They've been looking for specific pitches in specific locations. The advanced scouts, they've earned their pay in this one. Jordan Danks stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Staten will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Ernest Mora will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Ryan Staten will stand in. Base on balls his last time. One, two. Runners off for second. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. And that's through. A base hit. Mariano Silva will come forward now at a great RBI chance here with runners at the corners. And these opportunities have been few and far between so far. They've got to make something happen soon, or this game might just get away from it. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. And here's a situation where he's probably keeping at least one eye on that runner at third base to see if he's breaking or not. But once he bobbles this thing, it's all academic from there. Steve Butler will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. Robert Glover will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the... Aaron Pond will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but he's definitely off to a slow start. So he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, two gone. Fernando Ramos. Fernando Ramos will stride in, grounded out his last time through. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. And we are tied 4-4. Alex Liddy will dig in now, needing to come through here with the bases loaded and two men out. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And eight innings have come and gone now as the... Aaron Pond 
will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. And not in time, so there you go. The possible winning run is on to lead off the inning. Maybe a turning point here in a tie ball game. They catch a break, they get the infield single on this ball. Now what would they do from there? They've got tons of options. Marcos Arroyo will stand in now, and we'll see what they do about perhaps getting that winning run to second. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Now, luckily, the right fielder gets it in quickly, though, so there'll be no further advance. Boy, that is just absolutely the wrong time for something like that to happen. That moves the potential winning run into scoring position. It's almost like they're trying to hand these guys a walk-off victory. Robert Glover is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. A ball hit hard to the left side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, these fans will be happy to see this guy leave town. That's for sure. He has absolutely eaten him up here in this series. He delivers again. Jordan Danks is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. A look at the hit totals there into extra innings. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Well, if he's missing right here, he ain't missing by much. Not getting too many favors behind the plate. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first down of the inning. Kind of hard to think that he wouldn't have had an idea that a fastball might be coming here. But judging by his reaction, I should say of reaction, I guess not. Ernest Mora will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Change up, called strike one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against them in this series. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Oh, two pitches, a sinker that misses, but he's still in command, one and two. He's set, now the pitch. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Aaron Hund will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Bare-handed pickup. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Marcos Arroyo will stand in. He reached on an error last time through. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number Steve Butler will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. And in fact, no throw as he's able to reach first base safely. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top's player of the game. Yeah. Pitch. Giovi with a drive, deep right field. Are you kidding me? Oh, my! The Indians have won it.